Hi everybody, this is Diane and I'm here to get started on a new set of journals. Um, first of all, let me just say that I have been having some really frustrating days lately and today I'm just like at my wits end. Every little thing is just too much. And some of it is, some of it's because I still can't find stuff and I'm just so tired of not being able to find things since I moved and I can't do anything about it until I get uh, a set of bookshelves and um, some other things. Um, I have to, I just, I need places to put things. I've got boxes. So for example, today I was looking for my stencils and I know I've seen them a couple of times as I go through boxes looking for something else. I'm like, oh, there's my stencils. Okay. But I didn't need them until today and now I, I can't find them. So I'll show you what I used instead. But, you know, I've been trying to keep my cool every day. I'm just trying to keep my cool. And my printer that I just bought, and I was so proud of myself because I could, I set it up, connected it to my laptop, and got it set up um, so I could print wirelessly. And it worked for about a week. And now it won't even work if I hook my laptop up to it. It, it does nothing. Um, so I have... I have to take that back and I have to figure out something else. I need it for printing labels and stuff um, so I can put my glue books in my shop and be able to sell them and print labels to ship them. And my scale, my postal scale that I weigh my packages so I can actually know how much the shipping will be, it went berserk on me. It just keeps flashing a whole bunch of numbers and then says error. <sighs> So, and now they're, the coronavirus, because of that, they've closed our schools, well, Pennsylvania schools for two weeks, and I think they, I think my son said New York schools, or at least Waverly, for five weeks, and so I have to do extra kid watching, which, you know, they're my grandkids, I don't mind watching them, but it's just, it's just one thing after another. So I'm trying to be cool today, it's not working yet. But the good news is I found my uh, smash book or my my glue book that I couldn't find. <laughs> found it. There was a pile of I, I have piles of books, like stacks of books around because I need a bookshelf. And apparently I put it on top of one of those stacks and it fell down behind the stack. So I found that. So yay, that's that's a good thing. So let's just get started on these. So here's what I decided I'm going to work on. It is this was a book about fairies or fairy stories or something. So I don't have the pages for this book anymore. All I had was the cover and I don't even remember what the pages look like, what I did with them. But I wanted to use this and it's a good size book. It's seven inches by nine and a half. And the back of it's strange. It's just a small version of this, which I just think it's really weird that they just <laughs> stuck that on there. But I'll, I know I have to cover this. I might just end up covering the whole thing with something. It's a glossy cover, so I'm not sure how I'll do that, but we'll have to do that. So that's the first one I'm going to make. And then my friend Pirette had sent me quite a while ago these two fabrics. She sent me the poinsettia flower fairy fabric, and I made a lot of Christmas journals with those flips, making flips out of that. But this time I'm going to make covers out of these fabrics. So we have this purple one with silver sparkles. Can you see the sparkles? Is it showing them? I can't tell. I can I can see them in person. And then the pink one. This one doesn't have any sparkles. But it's so cute. I love these little flower fairies. So I laid out some cardstock onto the fabric so that I would know I didn't know that was in there. Um, so I could have a nice picture on the front. What did I do with them? They're right here. So I could have something centered or, you know, featured on the front. So I have this one. I like her. And then on the back, it's just this little guy. He looks like Aladdin, kind of. That kind of clothing. And... For this, she's not 
they're not exactly centered, but <coughs> they'll be featured on the front. Aren't they pretty? And then that one on the back. And this one, I had to have this little girl on the front. She's just so pretty. And then this one. And I, what I did was um, just like... What was the last one I did that was a fabric-covered journal? I don't even remember. I took um, just a piece of 8.5 by 11 card stock and put a half-inch spine in the center of it. So I put it on my scoreboard and scored it at 4 and a quarter and then 4 and 3 quarters. And so the, pay, the cover ends up being 4 and a quarter by 8.5. So, sorry, that's my son. We've been texting about child care needs for during the while the school's shut down plus he has the flu and I wanted to know how he was feeling he's feeling better than he was yesterday in case you wanted to know <laughs> so that's I'm gonna make two of each color so two purple two pink with the fabric covers and then one of these so there will be five journals this one will be larger this one will be my normal one with the with the spine and three signatures the other ones will be one signature so I've been cutting papers for the larger journal and get that one done first so let me just show you what kind of papers I have so I have these pages that came from this book a Regency ladies fairy bower and I have the information on the book, like when it was, when these pictures were made, but I think they were from the 1800s. But I'm not sure. I'm not going to look for it right now. So there are, there's artwork by this lady. Oh, I can't even find her name at the moment. I'll, I'll give you, oh, Amelia Jane is her name. I don't know the last name. Um, and then somebody collected the paintings, I guess, and put them into this book with um, some poetry. So she's from the Regency era, obviously. So <laughs> there's a fairy riding on a bat. This one's on a grasshopper. This one's on some shamrocks. Uh, a moth. She's holding on to a dragonfly for some reason. This one's on a plant. And this one's on some snowdrops. So those will they'll be one in each signature. And then I have these from the fairy calendar. There's some fairies watching the lady sleeping in the forest. Some fairies on some water lilies. And I don't know what kind of all, all these creatures are, but there's fairies and little, I don't know, brownies or something. And, okay, so here are the pages, scrapbook papers. I had lots and lots of really pretty floral scrapbook papers that I could use for these journals, but I wanted, I didn't want a coffee dye, so I wanted to spray through my stencils, and I couldn't find my stencils, like I said, so I used my large doilies, so you can see how pretty my doilies are now from getting tons and tons of spray on them. I like this one the best. <laughs> and then, because the book is so wide, I, um, took some of the cutoff pieces and sewed them to the ends of the pages so that they'd be long enough. So I've got several, like three for each signature. Now, here is the gorgeousness. I am using Elsie Bell's bookshelves, and I forgot the name of her kit. I've had this printed out for a long time, but look at the vibrant colors. I will link her shop below. But this is one of her images from her fairy kit, whatever it's called. It just looks three-dimensional. It might not show up on camera, but looking at it in person, it looks three-dimensional. 
and it's so vibrant and beautiful. Look at the gorgeous little deer and the fairy on the on the bird. The bright flowers, the the fireflies. It's just so pretty. And I only have seven pages. I printed the lined pages. And I don't know if there are more pages that I could print. Um, and I don't even want to look because I can't print them and I'll just be mad. <laughs> I'm not going to look until I actually have a printer that I can use. And one of the pages that I have is actually two lined pages back to back. So there's only six pages like this. Oh, I didn't put any lined paper on that. I have to ink on those. Look at the fox. They're just so vibrant and beautiful. I think this one has, yeah, this one has two lined papers. I don't know how that happened. Probably those two lined papers were supposed to go on the back of those. I don't know. I, like I said, I printed these a long time ago. Sometimes when I buy a kit, I get excited when I see a new kit and I buy it and then I have to print it right away so I can see it and then I don't make it for a while. And then I added some wrapping paper, some vintage wrapping paper. And I'm going to put in some stationery. Now these are the kinds of things I hoard, but I'm done hoarding. Look at these. I love these envelopes. They're just going to be a surprise when you flip it open and you see the flower. I think they're great for fairy journals. And then this one too with lots of flowers and then the ladybug. And there's stationery inside. I don't know if I'll use that because that's not a flower in a, out in the wild. It's a potted flower. But anyway, I just grabbed a bunch of floral stationery and use it. I'll use it for all of the journals. And then of course I'll have this to make some embellishments. I can cut out some of these images that are left intact make fabric flips with some, and maybe decorate pockets with some. I'm not sure. Um, let me show you what else came in Elsie Bell's bookshelf kit. There's an envelope. Another thing that frustrated me was when I was able to get some things printed, like I it worked fitfully before it quit working altogether, was that it's, it's not giving, my, and my laptop isn't giving me the option to um, fit to size or something and so like I printed Mrs. Cog's fairy words she sent me some of those her pages of fairy words and I went to print it and then it cut off only the cards in the middle are I can use the ones on both sides got cut off <sighs> so I just don't know what's going on and that happened that's true with everything I try to print it's it's cut off but anyway, we got postcards, journal cards. What I was trying to say was I printed another envelope. Oh, that was with, with these. I printed um, an envelope and it turned out really little. And yet I had another one already printed that was a normal size. So I'm not sure. I just don't know. I just want to quit. I want to quit using technology all together. But Elsie Bell's bookshelf kit is so beautiful. Look at that. And there's some fussy cut images, flowers, um, a little banner. Look at the little mushroom. It's a gorgeous kit. She does really beautiful work. So all of this will be for this larger journal. And I think that's all that I'm going to include in the journal besides, you know, whatever embellishments I use. I've got little things tucked in my drawers over here so I can use them for embellishments. So what I'll do right now is just put some signatures together. choose my stationary pieces. Okay. 
stationery, wrapping paper, Elsie Bell. Scrapbook paper, calendar, and Regency Lady. I'm going to use um, a Regency Lady page for the opening of each. No, wait. I had these pages are slightly heavier. These three pages are slightly heavier than these, so I was going to use one of these for the opening of each journal or each signature. So I'll put that there and then an Elsie Bell page. And I will have three scrapbook papers in each kit, in each signature. I think I wanted to get some ledger paper. That's what I forgot to grab. So there's eight, and then I'll have ledger paper. That'll be nine. And I will put an envelope in the center. I will have to like steam that open so I can sew it into the signature. Hmm, I need another Elsie Bells page in there too. switch this calendar page because this the colors of this one look better here. Grandson's here overnight last night. They were here till about 11 o'clock today, and then they're going to be coming back because my daughter and her husband are coming so we can finally get my kitchen island put together. Hopefully, my daughter and I were going to try to do it together, but the other day, but we decided to wait till Justin could come and help. I'm frustrated enough. So hopefully we'll get that done, and that'll help with the kitchen stuff a great deal. But I really, really need my shelves up in this room to help with the frustration level in here. But I'm still waiting for someone to bring back the shelves that he thought I didn't want and took home. the other stationary piece go? Oh, here it is.
This is supposed to be the cover. And now I just need an envelope in the middle. That's pretty. So there we have three signatures for this really fun fairy book cover. Let's see how they fit in there. Well, they're a little close to all the edges for what I like, but I don't think I want to go back and trim everything. I'm going to trim some of these that are sticking out. But other than that, I'm just going to let it be. I usually have more of a margin. There is a margin. It's just not as big as I usually have. And this, I could just cut this in half and fold it up somewhere, put it in a pocket. No, so I'll have two journaling pages that can be written on both sides, so that's cool. For the uh, fabric journals, I also have these pieces of wallpaper border. Now, I think when I bought this at the flea market, or at the thrift store, I sold some pieces in my shop, but I saved this much. Oh, I thought I had four pieces. Pretty sure I have four, so I have one for each of the fabric journals. I'm not seeing the other the other piece right now. So I was thinking maybe I sold too much of it. <laughs> Should have kept more. But I have um, these flower fairy postcards that will go since the fabric is flower fairies. I might use there's enough here I could use them in all of the journals. And a few other things that I have. Oh, this is fun. Flower Fairies paper dolls. There are four dolls, so I can take one doll and their costumes and put them, if they're, if they're not too big, I'll be able to put them in the flower, the fabric journals somewhere. Okay, I think that's enough for today. It's a short video, um, but I don't think there's anything else I need to do on camera right now. So I just wanted to show you what I'm up to. And if I haven't gotten the glue books listed yet, it's because I'm trying to get my printer and my scale dealt with and so I can actually... I want to get, I just want to get so I know I can ship things, weigh things and ship things. So the, the glue books are done. I did make a video of them, I just haven't put the video up yet. But they're done. So if they're not listed when this video goes up, they will be soon. Alright, next time I'll try to be a little uh, more cheerful. <laughs> try not to be so frustrated. Um, but thanks for hanging in with me, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.